All right, we got some underglow. Not just any regular underglow. We got some lit lights automotive lighting, which by the way is one of the most expensive <laughs> universal lighting kits I've ever saw, Diego. Here's everything that comes in the box. This, I don't think it's a baluster, but it's, it's the main harness. And then you have the four other connections to connect to the uh, aluminum LED strips. So we obviously have four. We have four LED strips. Here we have some mounting hardware, some self-tapping screws, and then we have some nice black stealthy screws. And then we have this, which I'm not quite sure what it is, but the packaging is pretty legit. The actual LED strips themselves. In the instructions, first thing you want to do is test out the kit itself, which is pretty simple. We just get our, our main harness, then we have our four connections, and then we have our terminals, power, negative, connect that to the battery. You can test it to make sure everything is properly working, which we'll do right now. We got it mocked up to test out to make sure the LED strips work. Is the microphone on? Yeah, the microphone's on. So, if we do it, we should be able to There you go. All four of them work, we're good. Now let's go ahead and install them. Right down there by the, that metal heat shield. That's what I guess that is. It's a pretty good spot to hide the control box. But as of now, we've got one, two on the opposite side and three on the front. But, ooh, some bad news is there is quite literally no space to mount the rear one. We're thinking about it up there, but we're not even sure if the light is going to pass through, if it's even going to look good, if we should even bother putting one. There's literally nothing to attach the LED strip to, unless we tap into the muffler. Okay, so we attach the control box right there pretty heavy duty control box below that you'll see a bluetooth controller at least that's what we think it is and then all the other cables we routed down beneath to the uh, plastic whatever you call that protector and then we have obviously our power terminals here red power ground black ground and then we just attach it and we should be good dude that looks that actually looks pretty good can't wait till the car's actually down. Yeah. What was that, like three hours? Well, it was a little hard to route the cables, but we persevered and we got through. We even got the rear mounted. Now, and that's a good amount of light that we're pulling out too, so it's not too bad. Uh, we did have to drill into the uh, trunk a little bit, but no matter, everything else looks good. As of now, we're just capping off the battery cap cover. That thing right there. And then we're finished. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You good? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, underneath it. Let's look at that strip. Wow, beautiful. Very cool. Very cool. Now, if you ever need to work on the bottom of your car, you have a lot of light to work with. That's how you pretty much control the color, you said the brightness, the strobe. So that's auto. It's auto. Auto. You just choose colors. You choose colors. Yeah. Choose the brightness. Choose the strobe pattern. You can do anything you want. This is so solid. And then you got the red. Wow, look at that. You can change the stuff up. Oh, how fast it changes? I guess Oh, how fast the light is flashing. Oh, that's crazy. So basically, I like it. Now you're going super fast. Look at the light. The LED strip's going nuts. Oh, it's a club. That's an art. That's a, it's a rave. Insulation is fairly simple if you follow the routes. 
uh, and uh, correctly route your cables. So you do get two long LED strips, obviously for the side, and then you get one for the front. Oops, one for the front, one for the rear. You do get cables long enough to reach the rear. It's pretty much your starter kit for putting on underglow because it has everything you need. It's all plug and play and you're pretty much tapping into your battery as your power source. We mounted our controller right here. It's not exactly the best spot. We could have probably done somewhere tucked behind there, but uh, this still works. It's not, it's not like it's gonna be an issue. We have our Bluetooth bit right underneath it. All of it has been double taped properly. It's not going anywhere. Here we have our power source, our terminals. We got connected to the positive. We got our ground connected to that metal piece right there. Essentially, whenever you turn your car on, uh, these things will light up, or you could also control it from your phone. It does have its own app, which is pretty dang cool. Now we need to see the sucker outside in action. Your taillights and headlights. Yeah. All right. I'll get you right there. Thanks again, man. Yeah, of course. You too. See ya. I am out here looking like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. But we got the underglow installed. If you are interested in the kit, I will leave the link down in the description below. It's a little pricey, but it's worth it. It's a damn nice kit. It's not like your standard. It's not like your standard AutoZone underglow kit. It's good though. You got everything you need. It's it's straight up plug and play. Hope you all enjoy that one. Yeah. Hope you all enjoyed this today's video, guys. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to yours truly. I'll catch you all on the next one. I'm going to go inside and warm my cheeks. Peace. Take care.